got an organ body here, and I'm going to take the legs and turn them into a coat rack. Yeah, luckily these both have a bolt in them and they just unscrew. At least this one does. Couldn't get the other one. But half the work is done for me. I was going to take, uh, before I knew they unscrewed, just drill a hole, get a dowel, and glue them together. But now I've got a centered hole on both of them so I can just put this in here uh, with some epoxy. So I've got the legs here, and you'll notice that they already have a finish on them, which has been like that for a long time. Uh, that's just how it came on the organ. And we do have some spots missing here, which I'm just going to leave. They've probably been like that for years, but it's pretty rough looking. Um, and as far as the legs go, I was trying, I've been puzzling over what to do. I thought maybe, I just don't feel like I have enough meat down here. I was going to create some kind of leg and kind of mortise and tenon into the leg right here and create some kind of style leg but I, don't, I just don't feel like I have enough and, I, and it's a curved surface I didn't really feel too good about doing it that way so I had this 4x4 post it just gave me an idea what if I embedded this inside of a post and then I would have plenty of meat to do mortise, mortises in this wood but I really didn't want to use this 4x4 post uh, I watched a video recently with, uh, with Charles Neal and he said never get this stuff, kind of stuff. Of course this is the kind of post you put in the ground for a fence and I didn't really want to use it for something like this coat rack. So uh, what I decided to do was just get some one by material, uh, laminate uh, four of them together, make about a three inch by three inch uh, post and I can do it that way. I don't know exactly how long I want this block to be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and make it about 10 inches long, which I think might be too much, but at least if I need to, I can cut some off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim this down to a man manageable size. I did try to cut this before, a piece this long on my table saw, and I had to put so much pressure down to hold it up because I don't have anything to support on the end, so uh, I didn't feel too safe, so I'm going to go ahead and try it with the hand saw. And all I have is this $5 Stanley back saw, came with a mitre box, but the box was missing, so the saw was 5 bucks. Um, so here it goes, I've never really cut this much for the salt, so I'll try it out.
Definitely should have put some wax or something on this blade because it's pretty difficult. Okay, I think it will. It's just min wax, paste finishing wax. That's all I got. I don't really know how much to put either, so I'm just gonna rub it on there. I use the scary sharp method uh, to sharpen my chisels and one day I hope planes, I just don't have any yet, uh, I've not been able to get any. Um, but I use this ceramic floor tile from Home Depot because it's flat and that's what I use to sharpen with. I put the sandpaper on here. So I'm going to take the four pieces of wood that I just cut and the surface side from Home Depot, I'm going to put it down and just square it up as best as I can. Uh, just to make sure that I have a perfectly even bottom and it would be pretty even on top and I can just kind of sand sand it down. I wouldn't worry as much about it if I had a jointer or some way to joint stock, but I don't. Like I said, I don't have any planes. I don't have a jointer. I don't have a planer yet. So I just got to do the best I can uh, with what I got. So this is the best way that I can come up with to This big contraption here now, and it's it's not even. Uh, I'm about to run every edge through through the saw to clean it up. Glue's everywhere. Uh, that just wasn't very fun. Um, just ended up smearing it all over this thing, and it just didn't work out like I planned. So anyway, I'm kind of kind of upset because it's just not going to be as even as I wanted it to be. So, but anyway, I'll
I'll just leave this to dry overnight.